On October 18, 2021, we received some Elden Ring news. I am sure that at this point you are well aware that the game was delayed. Indeed, the game will no longer release on January 21st, 2022 and will instead come out on February 25th, 2022. There is official confirmation and no turning back. Elden Ring has been delayed. Sure, to many these are bitter news but it is important to understand that this may not be as bad as it may seem. There are times where a delay in release brings about a much better result than pushing for a date in which the developers know the game will not be ready. This game is the culmination of over 10 years of souls, from the nexus of demon souls, passing through Lordran, Dranglick, the Hunter's Dream, the Land of Ashina, and of course, the end of time, where all worlds have converged. This game is set up to be one of those that we will remember for years to come, and I am more than prepared to wait one additional month to see it come to fruition. No one is happy that Elden Ring was delayed, but it is important for us to be understanding. As per official word, the game was delayed because the depth and strategic freedom of the game exceeded initial expectations. What does this mean exactly, and how can it affect the final experience? When the developers mention depth and strategic freedom, it is obvious that they are speaking about the vast amount of options that the players will have in the game. Mounted combat, stealth, co-op summons, spirit summons, consumable items, and, of course, the standard combat that we're used to made up of melee weapons, ranged weapons, sorceries, miracles, pyromancies, and hexes. These are a lot of options, and it must be difficult to balance them all within a game so that the experience is enjoyable no matter which option you pick. The more options there are, the more difficult it is to make them all fit together nicely. But that's not all. It is the combination of any of these options where things can get complicated. A mixture of spirit summons with ranged attacks might have proven too powerful, or maybe mounted combat may have been too strong with certain weapons. Honestly, it is impossible to know because the sheer number of combinations and situations that could arise is simply mind-boggling. Making sure that all of these different options are well balanced and ready for players must take a large amount of time, so it is understandable that, when the developers notice just how deep the game is in its mechanics, they realize that a bit more time was needed. This makes sense, and it is important that we give FromSoft credit for the past 10 years and trust that they understand what they're doing. I believe, so I will happily wait. And there's good reason to be optimistic. You see, FromSoft generally does not delay their games. That said, this is not the first time it happens. There was another game that suffered a similar fate. Bloodborne was initially set to release on February the 6th, 2015. Unfortunately, it was not able to meet this date. It was delayed to March 24th, 2015 in North America, March 25th, 2015 in Europe, Australia and New Zealand, March 26, 2015 in Japan, and finally March 27th, 2015 in the United Kingdom and Ireland. At that time, Sony Japan producer Masaki Yamagiwa gave this reason for the delay. We need a few more weeks to deliver you the best possible final experience. We were really grateful for all the player data and feedback we received from those that took part in our recent limited alpha test. And this extra development time will allow us to better integrate these learnings into the game. I do not have exact statistics regarding Bloodborne success. And quite frankly, I do not need them. Bloodborne, delay and all, went on to be one of the best Souls games in existence and one of the most popular among the fanbase. 
Bloodborne sits at the top of the list of Souls games for many players who found the Hunter's Dream to be the most fitting home. The reason for Bloodborne's delay is similar, although not exact, as the one they gave for Elden Ring. There was an additional input that made them realize that they needed more time to develop the game and add the modifications that they thought were needed based on the input. Bloodborne was delayed for exactly 47 days in North America. Meanwhile, Elden Ring has been delayed for exactly 36 days, a bit over a month. If Elden Ring's delay means that we can get a game of equal or higher quality as Bloodborne, then these 36 days are more than worth it and nothing to be worried about. It would be much worse if the game is released in an incomplete state. We all remember what happened with Cyberpunk 2077. And yet, not all news are grim. For when one door closes, another opens in its place. Indeed, FromSoft has officially announced a closed network test spanning from November the 12th until November the 14th of this year. In this test, we will have the chance to play as preset characters and use them to explore fields and dungeons, fight enemies and participate in online elements. They will be keeping an eye on the game's server load. They will be keeping track of multiplayer interactions and they will be looking closely at the balance of the game. This network test is perfect to give them the information that they need in regards to the depth of the game and the different options that players have access to. Hopefully, they will get a good idea of what is good, what is bad, and what is broken. Personally, I hope that we get a better understanding about how invasions will work in Elden Ring. I will be honest, I am a bit worried about the fate of invasions in this game. I am sure that this network test will shed some light on it. Now, whether it's positive or negative, we will have to see. As mentioned before, this test is closed, meaning that only a limited number of people will be able to join. That said, signups are open to everyone. In their website, you will find instructions on how to join the network test. I wish you luck. I understand that it is easy to get lost in the negativity of a delay. I am the first one to be unhappy about it. But the more I think about it, the calmer I remain. A simple one month delay to tend to additional data that will be gathered in a network test is understandable. At this time, there is no indication to worry. Sure, there could be additional complications and delays in the future, but we will cross that bridge if we get to it. For now, I do not see any reason to be alarmed and have complete faith in the work of FromSoft. Fear not the dark, my friends, and let the feast begin. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope I get to see you on the next one.